Home Forex Traders, welcome back to another episode, episode number 52 already. And uh, welcome to my live trading room. This is where I trade a uh, day trading currently. Um, I am uh, doing a exam or a challenge for a prop firm. So um, I am just doing day trading right now. But if you want to copy my trades, this is the way to do it. You can link your MT4 up to my MT4 and uh, go to this site here which is the link right below click on the manage tab watch the tutorial on how to set it up We've got the uh, sign me up page right here and got a couple of recommended brokers right here as well i'm moving on to the stats here real quick this is my day trading stats um and a little bit of a drawdown right now um but that's okay because look at what happened with the other drawdown so i'm not too worried about it but anyways if you are interested in how i trade let's go Today, this is episode number 52, and it is the 13th of January, 2021. We are just after the New York close, so it's 3.34 p.m., 34 minutes into the uh, new day's trading session, and I took a couple of trades if you didn't watch the last episode. Uh, let's go into, actually, let's go into my full pivot charts. Always best to view them there. This is the lazy man's view right here. This is like my nighttime view. All right. All right, full pivots, here we go. All right, so I entered in a pound dollar trade right here, just uh, about 15 minutes ago. Let's get rid of it, sorry, let's, let's clear this out here, okay. Okay, so I just entered a uh, pound dollar trade about 15 minutes ago. I do have a trade on from uh, today, earlier today, and then I also just entered another uh, Australian U.S. dollar uh, trade in uh, both uh, very similar stop losses as well. Um, and Bitcoin has made a nice little move up, kind of broke out of this little triangle right here. Uh, it's currently sitting at 37,400. Okay, the uh, Euro USD is below its M2, same with the Euro Yen. I do have a pending order in for the CAD yen, and I do have a working trade in from earlier. Actually, it was here. Okay. So this is my pending order. This is my active order that I bought from down. It triggered like way back in here. Um, and this is a down pivot zone. So that's a no-go. I actually got stopped out uh, earlier on that long that I had set up for it and uh, nothing on the pound yen because uh, it reached the weekly take profit zone. So uh, just to show you all my positions here, let's go on over to my prop, for, uh, prop trading uh, platform here. And this is CTI, the prop firm, and these are the working orders right now. All are pretty much break even. Alrighty, folks, we're taking a uh, quick update here at 4.31 a.m. on the 14th of January, 2021. I want to take this on over to the full pivot charts here real quick. And uh, I don't really like the movement right now in the pound. A couple of false little breakouts. Um, that doesn't make me too happy. But uh, here, um, I am going to move my stop from yesterday up and reduce a little bit of risk. Um, I do want to move up my stop um, for today, eventually, once we break above these highs right up in here for the uh, Aussie US dollar. 
But until then, I'm keeping the stop where it's at. Two separate trades. Treat them differently. Okay, so uh, we we are getting a little bit of the rejection on the Akkad Yen at the uh, first profit target low. I have mine at the second. And uh, this is what I don't like currently right now. A uh, couple of false starts on the uh, pound U.S. dollar. Five twenty nine AM bearers have been killing it on the Euro Yen. I wanna take a look at something here. Let's go to uh, my risk off. Alright, let's take a look at this here. Alright, so they started off the week and let's see how they did. All right, so uh, today's Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, and uh, they went, um, they bounced off the central pivot, and this was their sell here, and then they had another sell right here, and then they sold again right in here. And um, they probably reached their target in here. That's probably their uh, their M5 right there. And now they're heading down again. Yeah, we haven't looked at Ethereum in a little while. Just kind of compare it to uh, where Bitcoin's at right now. So, we, uh, like I said, we're just gonna be we're we're bouncing between these support and resistant levels that I've had drawn out now for a while. This is on the hourly chart. This euro move is kicking my butt on my trades right now. It's uh, it's injuring my Australian US dollar and my pound. Take a quick look at Bitcoin here. Uh, Bitcoin likes to do these tight consolidations, uh, little bull flags. You can see uh, something like this. here and then another one here another one here and had the breakout had a breakout and now it's looking like it's breaking out right now on the flip side let's take a look at uh, ethereum because where it looks like it looks like it's not the close of the hour but it looks like it wants to uh, break resistance Okay, taking a quick look here. Let's uh, go back to Ethereum. Ethereum's uh, coming right up into the resistance zone. I want to show you something, though, um, that we had talked about a few days ago. Oh, that's too much. Okay, that's better. Um, and uh, this is the daily chart, and I was showing you once we had our crash that we were uh, coming right down to the uh, 21. And we we're going to skirt the 21. That's what we're doing so far. That one's on the Ethereum. And the exact same thing is uh, happening right now on the Bitcoin price. This is Bitcoin. Yep, they are both looking exactly the same right now. 
and uh, this is my daily 21. You can see all the wicks that came down to it. So as support holds, uh, that's quite bullish. Okay, it's uh, 8.20 a.m. And uh, target just hit on the CAD yen. So uh, what you see here is the is just my pending order that's remaining the uh, the profit target. Let's take it on over to the uh, full pivot charts. I'll put it in my, uh, my prop firm's uh, chart here. And as you can see, we just hit the uh, take profit right here. And, uh, and it's recorded down already in both my brokers. So, um, well, a couple of uh, things to keep an eye on here is that the uh, the pound dollar has been struggling um, with my buy zone here, but we're peaking above it right now. Uh, same thing here with the Australian, but uh, I'm starting to see some movements in the in the uh, yen. So hopefully that uh, that pulls us up. Also, we did reach target for the Euro USD, so hopefully that uh, stops injuring my dollar trades. Let's go ahead and record down the win. Okay, so this one is the Canadian yen. That's number. Nine five two zero. Okay, so this one's uh, ten ninety four. Not a big CAD usually never gives me big wins. It's a slow mover. Taking a look here at Ethereum. Looks like it wants to punch through. Day trade alert. Day trade alert. Okay, here we go. We're starting to uh, get the breakouts that we want. Uh, let's go ahead and take it into my... Day trade alert. Right. Day trade alert. I think both of these triggered, no? Not the... Uh, I don't think the pound dollar has yet. But the... Uh, the Okay, so we just had the candle close. Okay, excellent. Let's go ahead and move it back on over to my main account. And uh, what I'm going to do is reduce risk on this one as well. All right, there we go. Perfect. Day trade alert. Okay, I think Day it is the pound now. Alert. Wow, it was a spicy day today. A um, little bit of a whipsaw due to the uh, euros. And uh, then we saw it started seeing uh, Bitcoin popping, and then Ethereum started popping. And here we go with Ethereum right now. Uh, looks like it wants to break out of its entire resistance zone and head up to uh, test the next resistance zone. Um, so I did, I did uh, move up both of my stops on the Aussie. So I am fully uh, reduced on those wrists. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, I do want the pound to close a couple of candles above this wick. There's a wick right here. Yeah, here we go. There's a wick right right here. Uh, and I do want to confirm uh, 
uh, that we're trading above there. Um, so once we get uh, maybe a back test of it and, and a close above it, then I'm going to reduce my risk on the pound. Okay, so it's 9.30 and uh, I will be allowed to move my stop on the pound. Let's go ahead and do so now. It's not much, but it will reduce risk. Shaved off about 30% of risk. Uh, that's important, it, it all matters. Yeah, I'm looking at the risk off charts um, just because of the euros. And uh, I want to see what happened here with the Euro Yen. We were tracking that. And it looks like it came down. I don't know if you can see that, but we came right down to the target in which I would, if I was risk, uh, risk off, that's where my target would be right there. So it would be, this would be a win. Sorry, uh, it would be uh, traded right in here. That would be a win. This would have been a win and this would have been a win and uh no entry in here but um yeah so it all plays out the same um now with the euro let's see here um in here is a cell in the new york um and here's the cell. Here's the cell. And um, this would have been target because that's the weekly take profit and the daily take profit right there. So that all worked out very well for the bears. They 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 uh, they crushed it on the CAD. I don't trade the CAD though. Um, but uh, let's take a look here at the euro. Um, kind of this right here would have knocked them out. Probably, I think yeah, their stops would have been like right up in here, so that would have knocked them out. Um, Reentry right in here, and it hasn't hit their target yet. And then tomorrow's uh, well, they already hit weekly take profit, so yeah, they would still be in on this trade here, um, and it hasn't hit their target yet. quick little update here it is uh 1155 oh let me turn myself back on all right so uh yeah quick little update and uh let me go over to the uh full pivot charts here i'm showing a little bit of rejection at the uh take profit zone in here now i didn't uh take profit there even though it came up perfectly uh to that zone it just was not enough for me and i want to tell you my average win is 124 pips on this one and this is 65 pips so uh, yeah um, that's why I have my target I have my target up here okay so that's 76 pips uh, and you know if we don't let's bring this down here it's actually not that big of a move okay it's not that big of a move um, it is showing a rejection here the rest of the downside is growing yes um, but uh, you know the target for tomorrow is right up here let's say we come down a little bit more um, by the end of the day the targets gonna move down to like right here let's go ahead and measure that That's that's ninety nine point seven pips. So you know, and then even a chance to get in one more time on the third entry. Um, you know, I'm not in the game of making small profits. I'm in the game of making small losses and much larger wins. 
So I do have a reduced risk stops on both on both of these guys right here. Remember, I'm in twice. I'm in here and I'm in again uh, over here. Maybe it's up. Maybe it's other. Maybe I'm here, there, and then here, there. Either way, I got two orders in, um, both around the same price. Um, and I have a reduced risk already. My stops were down here and down here, and they both come up. So uh, you know, I'm willing to risk this this amount right here, which is not much. Let's measure that. This is um, this is 16 pips, okay? So yeah, I'm willing to risk 16 pips to make 99.7 pips, or more, Cont contingent on if we hit that uh, target or not. I mean, if we don't hit that target tomorrow, then we have the target as the weekly take profit zone, which is, and of course tomorrow's Friday. That's one. That's 140 pips. Uh, of course, tomorrow's Friday, so yeah, if it doesn't hit tomorrow, then we, we won't have an option of hitting the weekly target. Then we'll just have higher targets again next week. So um, that's my standing on that, and that's why I did not take target. I did not take target when I came up to the R2. This is a smaller zone here. This this whole daily zone right here is is much smaller, but it's not small enough to where I have to have my target at R3. It called for a target at M5. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the pound because I know we were shown rejection there as well. Here's the pound. All right, so the pound, you can see that we had that long wick that came all the way up to the M4. Now, this isn't even close to either of my targets that I had. I had mine at the R2 and at the weekly take profit zone. So um, somebody in here, some some entities in here were quick to take to take profits in here, and that may be also because we have resistance coming across, right from over way over here. Yeah, it's not the straightest line in the world, but you get the picture, um, and it's getting really close to all these little zones all in here. So um, I, uh, you know, again, this not not much at all. This. Uh, if I was to take profit up in here, that's only 98 pips on the pound. That's nothing. My my average win is 166 pips. So if I don't make this today, then I'll have uh, the profit zone up in here tomorrow, which is 120. And then again, my stop is not much at all. My stop is uh, it's a reduced risk stop. So it's only uh, 26 pips. All right, uh, that's about it for now. Unfortunately, the uh, Australian yen, remember the yesterday, I got stopped out right here on this wick, came right down and stopped me out. I had my entry up in here, and it went against me for a while, stopped me out, and now it's coming all the way up. Now, this wouldn't even be my, my take profit. Um, it's actually, it would be up here farther still, so... Um, you know, it's it was shown a little bit of rejection earlier in here today. Uh, we reset and then came back up. So uh, it is showing some bullishness uh, on still yet on the Australian yen. Um, we do have room to trade it for tomorrow. So uh, yeah, we uh, we got we got room. This is my weekly take profits way up there. So we got plenty of room, plenty of room. All right, let's go ahead and take it back on over to the dark charts. So it's uh, 12.01. It's, it's noon o'clock. We'll keep you posted. All right, it's uh, 2.34 p.m. here on the 14th of January. Uh, so we are sitting about uh, 25 minutes away from the New York close. And uh, let's go ahead and get into the setups. So let's go to the day trade full pivots. 
All right, and uh, let's go right down the list here. Okay, so the pound is, um, okay, look, if I take this here, my my weekly take profit is here. I, I, I took a trade here um, because there was enough distance for me to make money. Uh, if I was to take a trade here, there's just not much of a distance for me to profit or, or for that risk to reward. So uh, I'm going to just hold on to the trade that I have from back in here uh, and uh, let that ride. Okay, moving on to the Australian US dollar. Uh, I'm in on these two trades right in here. And uh, we reach this take profit zone, which means that I can buy it again in here. And we are only at the M3. It's not like we we're, we have we have uh, take profit way up here. So we have lots of room to run. Um, and uh, so that's gonna be an add-on trade for the Aussie US dollar. And uh, Bitcoin came all the way up to their take profit zone or its take profit zone right here. And uh, it kind of formed like a little bit of a double top. So uh, it does have a higher box right here. So if you're buying it, you buy it right inside here and it has plenty of room to run. Um, and uh, with the Euro USD, this one still is way below its M2. It did come down to the weekly take profit zone for the bears, they won. And uh, Euro Yen is still below the M2 and came really close to their take profit zone. It did come to their take profit zone for the daily, but not the weekly. So this tells me that it may kind of have like another leg again uh, down there tomorrow or just continue on next week. So we'll see about that, but not right now. We don't we don't have any trade subs right now. Uh, CAD Yen. CAD Yen, I'm still set up really well. We're, we're in the take profit zone, so uh, a buy entry right inside here uh, and we have uh, still a little bit more room to run on that one um, this is only the m3 so we still have this the resistance level and then the weekly take profit there so we we have room to run so cad yen australian yen uh, we are still within only the m3 so um yeah we hit the daily take profit unfortunately i got stopped out over here or else uh, we would still be sitting in profit right now. I can place a pending order right here. So the Australian yen, yes. Uh, pound uh, yen is no go. It, it's already triple topped into the, not saying it can't go higher, but um, we've already entered into the uh, weekly take profit zone. So nothing on that one. So yeah, I got three uh, three good setups or three, um, three uh, pending orders that I can place. Um, one on the Australian uh, dollar and yen in the in the uh, CAD yen. Time is two thirty seven. We have twenty three minutes. Oh, let's take a look at Ethereum as well. There we go. Who says support and resistance doesn't work? Oh, one quick note here. Um, you know, today's, today's Thursday. Today's Thursday, right? Tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, I am uh, resorting back to all my original uh, rules. Is um, I don't I don't add any additional trades on Fridays. So uh, that is in fact it. The only thing I'm going to need to do is to raise my take profit uh, for my Australia U.S. dollar and my pound us dollar i totally forgot tomorrow's friday okay thanks for reminding me i appreciate it. that's why i got you guys here um so we still have uh, about two more minutes all right we're getting real close to lock here so let's go ahead and flip it on over to the full pivots yeah i totally forgot it's friday tomorrow okay so i got the friday pivots are about to lock in place here within a minute Okay, there we go, we have lock. All right, so let's go ahead and take this uh, from the top here. Got the pound. And um, let's see here. Uh, that's 105 pips.
105 pips. My average win is 166. So actually, I'm hoping that it doesn't hit tomorrow, and then by next week, I'll be able to raise it up because we won't have that uh, looming weekly take profit zone. Okay, so I got that one done. All right, let's get into my Australian yen. This one's very easy. There we go. Oh, still got the other one, don't I? There we go. Got those two done. All right, let's see uh, how many pips that is now. One oh eight. One twenty four is my average. Nice. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, this one mark the boxes too. So the box here. Uh, I got this one here. This one's right here. And this one's right here. All right, so I think that just about wraps things up for us for today. Stay tuned. Um, I'm going to immediately start the other video. Uh, we'll see you then. Bye for now.